Okay, friends. This week we're doing Spanish in the morning. So what should we do before we go? Let's all change our channel one time. Y ahora hablamos español. Research shows that bilingualism, biliteracy, dual language instruction and curriculum makes a significant difference. In fact, I believe testing scores for students who speak that second language are higher than those students that only speak one language. Lo llevan a su colmena. This program really genuinely understands that children's minds are able to grasp the second language although they've never been exposed to it. My older brother was the first class that started the bilingual education like 20 years ago, and now like my daughter's in the bilingual education program there as well. You ready, Sophie? Yeah. Okay. El músico. El borracho. Which one's this one? El pájaro. El pájaro. She's learning English and Spanish at the same time. And she gets to practice it here at home because we try our best not only to speak English to her here, but also kind of reinforce what she's learning at school, which is the Spanish portion here at home. I'm a strong believer in dual language and seeing it here firsthand and teaching it to the kids I can compare now and see that language is definitely a barrier. So providing an environment that teaches and speaks and sings and writes and reads in your home language is definitely something that the kids need. California's Latin American or Latin, Hispanic, Latino, Latinx communities are so immense and so large, being so close to the border that her learning Spanish is going to help her really communicate with other people, exactly. I think that her learning Spanish is really helping her kind of unlock the doors of the different cultures that she's a part of. Pera. Muy bien, Sophie. Pera. Pera. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.